Hi, welcome to Troubadour's videos. Today we're going to check out Coolance's new extreme GPU cooling solution, the VID NX295. So let's have a quick look and see exactly what accessories come with this GPU water block. And here is the Coolance VID NX295 GPU water block. This is an exclusive fitment for the GeForce GTX 295 graphics card. Here are our replacement screws bright blue LED wiring harness, two packages of GPU thermal paste, threaded graphics card separators or spacers, two thicknesses of GPU thermal pads, both pink and grey, a thermal pad cutting guide as well as a comprehensive instruction manual. The NX295 has an acrylic water jacket that's precision machined to match the profile and contours of this GPU water block. The NX295 cold plates are manufactured from high density copper and precision machined to ensure they hit all the heat producing components of the GTX 295 graphics card. The copper cold plates also have a nickel finish to provide high corrosion resistance. The cold plate is drilled and tapped for G quarter threaded nozzles. This provides you the option of 10 or 13 mm coolant hoses as well as a pass through should you wish to connect two of these GP water blocks together for some crazy quad SLI configurations. The copper cold plate also has hardened steel threaded inserts. This is a definite plus and significantly reduces the potential of stripping threads upon installation. The acrylic water jacket also comes pre-drilled with three holes for the optional bright blue LEDs. As always, Coulants have a keen eye and attention to detail. Here we see the Coulants logo precision machined into the end of the acrylic water jacket. Let's install this water block on the GeForce GTX 295 and see exactly what this looks like within the case. Whoa, those LEDs are bright. Those are bright, super bright blue LEDs within this particular water block. And here you have the Coulance logo that's precision machined into the end of the water block. Again, this is a real nice finishing touch where some of the other manufacturers out there neglect to put their attention to detail. And for this test, we're going to be using the Coulance ERM 3K4U liquid cooling system. Coolant temperature is 16 degrees C or 61 degrees F. And here is the EVGA GTX 295 air cooled stock settings with the stock air block. As you can see here, GPU 1 is 82 degrees, GPU 2 84 degrees. And with the GTX 295 of the Coulombs VID NX295 installed, we're an absolutely phenomenal drop in temperatures. GPU 1 27 degrees C, GPU 2 29 degrees C. So let's overclock to the same settings that caused this car to fail recently on there. 713 MHz on the core, 1512 on the shader, 1134 on the memory. And look at those temps, 28 degrees on GPU 1, 31 degrees on GPU 2. Absolutely phenomenal. And look at these results, GTX 295 with a stock clock with the NX 295 installed, 27 degrees on GPU 1, 29 degrees on GPU 2. With a wicked overclock, 28 degrees on GPU 1, 31 degrees on GPU 2. But compare that to the GTX 295 standard stock cooler at stock clock settings, 82 degrees on GPU 1 and 84 degrees on GPU 2. This water block is absolutely phenomenal. The Coulant VID NX295 is indeed an extreme high quality precision engineered cooling solution for the GeForce GTX 295. As you saw here today, the NX295 is more than capable of taking the GTX 295 temperatures from 84 degrees to as low as 27 degrees under standard clock conditions and as low as 31 degrees under extreme overclocks. For more information on the VID NX295, feel free to visit this web address. Once again, I'd like to thank you guys who post comments and rate these videos, especially my subscribers. However, if you wish to stay up to date with the latest and greatest in gaming and PC hardware, feel free to subscribe.